talk to you about one of our biggest challenges we have is we still have a few hundred unserved members. And I mean, talk about a challenge. You know, when I got here uh, almost 25 or 22 years ago, uh, our founder Delbert, in a, a real funny meeting I want to share with you, uh, we were serving about three, 400 a year. We all thought we were doing pretty good. And Delbert came in that meeting and says, we're just not doing enough uh, because the number keeps, uh, it's not changing. This unserved amount of people wasn't changing. And so what was actually happening, we were serving about three to 400 uh, people every year, but three to 400 people kept signing up. So it looked like we weren't making any uh, forward movement. So uh, that is kind of a situation that has been throughout my 20 plus year history. But here we are today and we have a few hundred unserved members and we're having challenges to get those folks served. And it's mainly two problems. One problem is we are not getting the grant money we used to. Uh, some of these areas uh, do not qualify because of income. Uh, the other issue is they're very sparsely populated. Uh, our average, I think, is around four customers a mile system wide. Some of these areas might have one member in a mile. Uh, now, here's where the bigger problem is. Today, it used to be about twenty-five dollars to $28,000 it would cost us to install uh, a four-inch water main per mile. Today, it's $60,000, so the price is more than doubled than what it used to. So if you think about four customers a mile, we would need about eight to 10 customers a mile to make the math actually work. And of course, these areas that we're trying to serve do not have eight to 10 customers a mile, hence the problem. So that's the issue. Uh, for those folks affected by this, I just ask you to stay patient with us. We do understand if you want to cancel your membership, please contact customer service to do so. But I'm also asking you just to be patient because things are always changing. Uh, some areas become grant eligible, other areas don't. Uh, things are always changing in the last uh, uh, 20 plus years that I've been here. So some of the areas uh, that come to the top of my mind is like Johnson Township just outside of Taylorville. For the longest time that was grant eligible, now in the last two, three years it hasn't. Uh, stay tuned because I'm sure it's going to change again. But those are the reasons why we're still having challenges getting everybody served water.